<laughs> Hello, I am back. Uh, did you guys miss me? Uh, it doesn't matter to you guys because you're watching this week after week and I am just losing my mind. Um, hey everybody, welcome back to my pregnancy vlogs. Um, I believe last time I left off at week 19. Um, I am now 22 and a half weeks. Woo! So we got a lot to talk about. Um, a lot happening. Okay, so to start, we're gonna get right into it because I don't have a lot of time. To start, uh, some things I forgot to add on at the end of the last vlog. Um, some symptoms that I totally forgot. Um, I forgot to mention, super gassy this pregnancy. Not anything fun you wanna talk about, but it's true. I got, I've been super, super gassy. Um, i pretty sure I found out part of the reason why, and we'll talk about that later. Also, um, I started feeling the baby move. Um, that was actually around like, it was pretty early. Um, I could feel movement somewhere in the, it was in the first trimester and it was somewhere around like 10 to 12 weeks. Now, granted it wasn't like kicks, it was like movement. Um, it was super rare and I would just be like, oh, that's, that's moving. There's something in there. Um, so that is, um, fun, especially because now here at 22 and a half weeks, I am feeling baby move a lot. This is a very, very wiggly baby. Um, we got to do, we did an ultrasound, we did the anatomy scan, um, and that just confirmed this baby is super, super wiggly, um, which is great. I have no complaints about that, honestly. Um, I would rather them be moving so that I know what's happening. So actually, um, around 20 weeks, um, ish. I was feeling the baby move pretty much every day to the point where I actually emailed my doctor at one point and told them I had a pretty, um, quiet day from the baby. Um, and they were like, girl, you're 20 weeks. You need to calm down. Um, but I was, I was really feeling them quite a bit. And, uh, when they slowed down, it made me worried, but everything's fine. Um, Doctor said it won't be until third trimester-ish when we start doing the like kit counts or like make sure they're moving every day stuff. And um, I have no problem with that. Uh, I was telling my husband, it, it, once I started feeling kicks, it felt like I should be feeling them all the time. And so I kind of like in my head was like, I should be feeling baby kick. And it's like, no, no, you shouldn't yet really. It's it's okay. So that is where we are at. Um, in terms of symptoms, I think, other symptoms, other symptoms, I think that the nausea is really and truly finally gone. Um, I am happy because now I can actually focus on eating better instead of just trying to eat whatever stays down. Cause I've not, I, I'll admit, I have not been the best um, in terms of having like a great pregnancy diet. But uh, my argument here is that at some point you're just trying to keep food down and it's more important to keep you and baby fed sometimes. Um, but now that we are past that point, uh, I feel like I can finally start actually you know, trying to eat better. The weather is also starting to get warmer. Um, so between that and the fact that I'm now past the halfway point, I can tell that things are getting harder. Um, my blood pressure will occasionally go up and um, you know, my heart rate gets uh, a lot faster, easier. Um, and I, I just know that's a thing that's coming. Um, I see my cardiologist at week, I think 24 and a half, 25 weeks, something like that. So I'll see her soon and um, we can kind of adjust if we need to. Uh, but otherwise, I'm actually feeling pretty good. Um, I'm starting to get a little bit of that energy back, which I'm sure is gonna go away as soon as I get my second Pfizer shot. 
Yay, I was able to get my shot. I am so happy. I got my first Pfizer shot on uh, March 19th and I'm actually getting my um, second, so I was actually, I just turned 20 weeks and I'm getting my second shot at 23 weeks and I'm super happy. Um, uh, my first shot, I was like two hours afterwards, I was really, really tired and I had a very small headache. Excuse me, there's that gas. Um, and, oh, what was the other one? Um, very tired. Oh, a little bit of a sore arm. Um, so all pretty normal things. Uh, but you know, second shot, we'll see what happens. Um, people in my family have had like a 24 hour, 48 hour, just kind of like chills and not feeling super great and tired. And that's kind of what I'm anticipating right now. So we'll see how that goes on Friday. Okay. Other big things. Um, so the weeks were actually pretty chill for the most part. Um, but uh, this Monday, so yesterday for me, uh, at 22 and 22 weeks and three days, we had our anatomy scan. Last time, I think I had it more at like 20 weeks, so I had to wait a little bit longer this time. That's fine. Um, we do not know the gender currently. We'll find out the gender on Saturday when we see friends, well, not friends, when we see family, but we'll we'll have family on Zoom and uh, some family in person. And we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. I actually just got back from the cupcake place and ordered some gender reveal cupcakes. So that is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, the anatomy scan we actually did with MFM, the maternal fetal medicine um, part of the building, the female care center, uh, women's care center, I don't remember, um, or I don't know what to call it, but we did that with them. We had that with them. I, I, did, I did an ultrasound with them last time, but it was a lot later. Uh, this time, they did a very, very long anatomy scan. I think we were there for a good 45 minutes to an hour just dealing with the actual ultrasound. Uh, we got there earlier, they took my vitals, and then we saw the doctor afterwards. So, there was a lot. Um, there was a lot to look at, a lot of pictures to take. Um, you know, they measure everything, they check the heart, they check the cord. Um, the only weird thing, thankfully baby is looking really, really great, but the only weird thing is I do have uh, what's called an SUA or a, it's a, called a singular umbilical artery or uh, I believe like a, a two vein cord. I don't, uh, whatever. But um, basically uh, usually you have three. Uh, you have two veins and an artery um, and that's normal. Um, I have this SUA uh, for this baby and thankfully there is no there, they couldn't see any of the abnormalities that you would be able to see on an ultrasound. Uh, apparently, if you have an SUA, there are there is a probability of having liver, kidney, or heart problems, uh, but you would be able to see all of that on an ultrasound. And on the ultrasound, everything looks great. So uh, we're gonna be doing a growth, growth scans again, um, which is what we did last time. <laughs> Uh, so I'm just gonna get a lot of ultrasounds, a lot of ultrasound pictures. It's gonna be fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, and that's what she basically said is like, I don't really have, I don't need to worry about it. There doesn't seem to be anything, any problems. We just need to, you know, keep an eye on things. Which brings me to another reason I'm not that worried. Baby is currently measuring about a week ahead. Um, Graham measured a week ahead most of his ultrasounds too. So I'm just, I don't know, I'm not that worried about it. Um, as long as they tell me not to be worried about it, I'm not, I'm not going to be worried about it. Um, oh, that brings me to why I'm so gassy. This baby is like constantly moving. I thought I was getting a lot of movement, but like 
that kid was moving <laughs> so much. Um, the poor technician was trying to take a picture of their heart. Um, could, you know, so you can see the four chambers and, and see everything. And I think they do it with color so you can see different, I, I don't know, I don't know all the technical terms or anything, but um, you know, you have to take a lot of pictures of the heart. And every time she would line up the shot, um, the baby would roll over or wiggle, or it was just, it was both hilarious and I imagine really probably a little frustrating for the deck and I felt kind of bad. But uh, yeah, it was just, it was really funny. And that's part of the reason I've been so gassy is just like the constant movement. Um, so that explains a lot. Um, this baby does not like being poked. Um, I, I had my normal appointment with my doctor. So I had the ultrasound yesterday. I had the normal appointment today um, just cause they couldn't schedule it on the same day, which is fine. Um, and while they were checking the heartbeat, uh, I definitely felt like, you know, the kicks of like, hey, stop, stop pressing on me. So I feel, I feel good that they're very active. Um, it's, it definitely makes me feel a lot better to know that they are moving and know that they're okay. And that brings me to my doctor's appointment. So my doctor's appointment actually went really well. Um, there wasn't a whole lot to talk about other than just going over what everything means. Um, but the newest um, information, I guess, is that we, I was told originally in like super early appointments that we were going to aim for uh, 39 weeks, which would have been July 30th. My due date is August 6th. Uh, for 40 weeks, 39 weeks would have been July 30th. After the appointment yesterday, the doctor with the maternal fetal medicine uh, office actually suggested that we aim for 37 weeks. Um, I had Graham at, uh, it ended up being 37 weeks and five days only because, no, it ended up being 38 weeks. Almost, it ended up being almost 38 weeks. It was like the day before. So it was like 35 weeks, 37 weeks. Oh my gosh. It was like 37 weeks and five days. But they were worried about all of my amniotic fluid like on week 37 to the day. So I was like, mm, I think it's gonna be closer to week 37. I don't think it's gonna be, I don't think we're gonna get to week 39. Um, and my doctor confirmed that. So we are aiming for week 37, which right now will be mid-July. Um, we're aiming for the 16th, which will be 37 weeks to the day for me. Um, but we may have to adjust around that day. And my only thing is we really are going to try not to do it. Uh, try not to do it on my sister's birthday. Uh, we're going to try to work around that. She's going to have to deal with the fact that baby is coming in July, whether she likes it or not. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're gonna have to do it pretty close to her birthday. Um, and I think I can swing it so that we don't do it on her actual birthday. So that'll, that'll be good. Um, and that's, that's pretty much all of it right now. I know this is a long video trying to catch up on, uh, three or so weeks of stuff and two really big things. Uh, we'll find out the gender on Saturday. I will film that as well because of course I will. Um, and I'm excited. <clears throat> I'm, I'm just really excited because um, I'm always excited. Um, but I really, I'm really anxious to know what the gender is. We have a couple names on board, um, but it'll be nice to pick the name, know the gender, pick the name, and be able to call the baby by their name. Um, that really like, that means a lot to me. Uh, and also way less stressed out if I can call the baby by their name. So that's where we are. Um, mid, middle of week 22. I will continue attempting to do these weekly. I will probably not be able to do them weekly, but I will attempt. Um, so until next time, thank you guys so much for following along on this pregnancy journey. Thanks for sticking with me even when I'm jumping along several different weeks. 
and uh, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!